So you're looking for a four bedrooms, two and a half bathroom that could be built from four bedrooms, two and a half bathroom to a six bedrooms, three bathroom, two car garage, two story with a bedroom downstairs. Today's model is just that. Let's have a look, let's go. Hello and welcome to another episode of Orlando Home Show where strategy matters, passion rules and guys the house behind me is a four bedrooms, two and a half bathroom. You can actually build this up to six bedrooms, three bathrooms, two car garage and all in for like 350 for the four bedrooms, two and a half. Of course as you make the structural changes you would have to pay more. It's on a lot which is 45 by 120. The lot is big enough for you to be able to build a pool if you want to. Maybe not a huge pool but a decent sized pool and it does not have a bedroom downstairs as a four two and a half but it gives you an option to have a bedroom downstairs so the first thing you're going to notice is you have this nice pad for your two-car garage and then you have the two-car garage right behind it now I can't go inside because they're using this as a construction office but I like that you have this nice walkway kind of leading you to your uh, entrance of the house but what I love about this house is that you have this nice front porch. Now I did a model with this builder. They had this something like this and I love that fact that it does because you can have a nice chair or something and you can sit around in front if you want and maybe later on can cover this. So let's go inside and check rest of this beautiful model out. Hello, hello and welcome to another beautiful it's not a model home but another model now guys i am trying to get into as many houses or as many floor plans i possibly could and this is kind of strange because with every builder they kind of build the same model everywhere but then they're selling 11 different floor plans so what i'm trying to do now is i'm trying to get to every single floor plan because for me unless i can touch feel and walk in you know, looking at the, at the map or looking at the floor plan does not really do much for me. So this house that I'm showing you today is four bedrooms, two and a half bathroom. You could build this to up to six bedrooms, three bathroom, 2,350 square foot with a no CDD, though the community has no CDD, a very low HOF, just about $87. They have two kids play area and that's pretty much it. You're just about 45 minutes to an hour. Now I have been saying this guys, if you go a little bit further out, you're going to be able to get a good deal on the house, not only in terms of the price, but also in terms of the house that you get. So the base price of this house is $343,950. The uh, lot price is anywhere from $3,000 to $10,000, depending upon if it's a corner lot, it's a cloudy stack lot, or it's an internal lot. It really depends upon what it is, but you can actually have this house with no upgrades with whatever the standard feature now every builder has a sheet which is a standard feature sheet that basically says hey nine foot four is the standard ceiling eight foot solid door is a standard feature this one has an upgrade in terms of the lvp now guys you're going to get the best possible deal on an inventory home so if you are looking if you are wanting to build it from brand new which you definitely could it's going to take anywhere from eight months to 12 months they're not going to give you a lot of incentives right now what this builder is doing is they are not only giving you a lot of incentives in terms of closing cost and prepaid but they're also buying down your rate to about 4.875 while the rates are about six between six and seven to make it more affordable but they're also giving you washer dryer refrigerator so they're doing that so just keep that in mind so as i walk in i just kind of like this open area right there now this is a space that you can actually turn this into a bedroom but this is the standard feature this is how you are going to get now this could be your workstation it could be a little playstation for me well, i have two small kids this would be a nice playstation area i would have definitely loved those extra lights but i kind of like this little opening right there it's kind of interesting you have a window over here and another window over here so that's good you have a half a bathroom right across so let me go ahead and take you over here so you have this half a bathroom right here look at the size of this half a bathroom you know it's a pretty good size and i think 
the the floor plan has an option to kind of make this into a full bathroom depending upon what is that you want to do because i was looking at it and it gives you that option because i was saying you can make this into a six bedrooms three bathroom you also have a closet space right over here for like it could be your little closet space for your broom pans or coats or whatever you want this to be and then right over here you have this nice cavity now this is your garage here so you come out of the garage i can't go in because they have the construction office there but you come out you either have this is how it will come but there is a design center feature you can get a cabinet and stuff or just get a good furniture and then this could be a down station you come you drop your keys you put your shoes or whatever you want to do and then you kind of walk in and the whole place just opens up look at this guys now guys as I was saying, I'm trying to get you to the most, so I'm, you're gonna see a few things like this over here. It's missing the countertop, but the house is pretty much overall done. And I wanted to show you because it's going to be sold by next week. Now this community does have some inventory home. They have reduced the price. So please, please, please make sure you comment below, reach us out to my team because we carry a list of all the inventory home and we know and sometimes what happens is the deal falls through at the last minute and the builder says hey it's end of the month i need to make my numbers i'm willing to do the sale and give you another ten thousand dollars in concessions if we could get it sold we are aware of those things you know we are very well connected when it comes to builders all throughout central florida and tampa and guys if you are looking to buy a home anywhere in central florida and tampa this is a great resource. Press that thumbs up button, show us some love. And now I'm doing all kinds of stuff. I'm doing TikTok, so I'm TikToking. I'm doing Instagram Reels, so I'm reeling, I guess. I'm doing sh YouTube Shorts, so I'm shorting. So make sure to check me out on all those channels. Uh, my handle is at D Gupta Orlando. So I've just started doing that for the longest time. I've been doing this because I've been just super busy, but thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I've grown my team. My team members are taking care of things. That gives me a little bit more time to shoot more videos, to bring you more content. And if you haven't checked out Orlando Living with D, make sure to do that because that's where I talk about communities. We talk about schools, shopping, hospital, everything that you need to know. Hey, with Wesley Chapel, be better or St. Cloud be better. St. Cloud is a Central Florida suburban area. Wesley Chapel is kind of right in the middle of Orlando and Tampa. So that kind of things, just keep those things in mind. So with this house, this is an inventory home. They are looking um, like, I believe it's under contract. It's closing next week. You do get the refrigerator. You get this beautiful white cabinets, crown molding, which is actually an upgrade. This is your standard size for your island or your kitchen island size is right there and what i love over here is that you have a lot of space and then you have a really really nice walk-in closet like it's not huge but it's pretty good and as you can see they're still trying to finish this up so that it makes to the closing on time by next week and and if this is something that interests you i've also done a two-story which actually had a bedroom downstairs now this model gives you that option to make that open space into a bedroom but if you want to look at another one, it's called the Palm model, if I remember correctly. If the video is not out, it will be out very soon. Or just put in the comment below, I'll be happy to send you some information. But I like that you have this coffee station or bread station right over here. And then I just love the whole open floor plan. Look at this, you have all this space. And this is a standard feature with the builder where you can put your cables right there. You have the cable right there and the other cables can go and hide right behind the wall. And you can have your TV right there and the, and the cables are not showing. So you have these two nice window bringing in good amount of light. You have another window right here. But this is what I want to show you. Look, look at this right there. So look at the space that you have over here. So this is a covered lanai, it's a standard feature. You know, your lot size kind of goes till here. So you don't have a lot of room here. But this is what I was talking about and I was saying, because I've seen some clients do that, you won't have a huge pool, it's not right at the back, it's right in this area and there are things that you could kind of do right here to have some sort of a small pool. So just keep those things in mind. There's the other floor plan that I was talking about, it has a little smaller pad because this one is 2350 square foot that one was 2190 so you get a little bit more room and then you can kind of um, you know make 
like this might be a really small pool, but you definitely could do that if pool is really important. It's a matter of personal choice, so just keep those things in mind. And I always tell people, if you are looking to build a pool, make sure your lot is big enough and they have the rendering where you can see how the house is going to look with the pool. So just keep those things in mind. You also have a closet space right underneath the stair cavity. It's kind of deep, it kind of goes all the way in around the corner, so a good amount of space. So let's go upstairs. Now, before I go upstairs, this is an upgrade. If you don't have this, you're gonna have a knee wall. So that is something to keep in mind. So let's go upstairs, check out the secondary bedroom and also the primary bedroom. You have this nice loft. So let's go upstairs and check it out. As I come upstairs, you have the eight foot ceiling on the second floor, which is a standard feature with the builder. And then you have all this loft space right there. And look at the space that you have right here. Like, I just love that. You know, my kids make a mess. This could be their place. This could be their whole place. They could play with the toys, make a mess so that when you come to my house, it looks amazing, it's nice, because you haven't come up and saw the real thing, what's happening in the house. But you have this area right there, nice big window bringing in a good amount of light, and then right across from it, you have the first secondary bedroom right here, you know, which looks at the front facade of the house, or looks at the front porch area of the house right there. You have a light there, not a huge fan, and I say this all the time, but I guess it just comes natural to me, you know, uh, you have the split doors for your uh, uh, closet space right there. And then come out over here, you have the other bedrooms right over there. Your master is over there. Let me go ahead and take you here. Pretty good size, 2,350 square foot. You know, really nice space. And I always say this, guys, don't worry about the square footage as much as you want to worry about the flow of the house. The flow of the house, in my personal opinion and professional opinion, is more important because I have done homes that are 5,000 square foot with a lot of dead space. I have done homes that are 1,800 square foot or 1,700. As a matter of fact, they have a beautiful 1,700 square foot home and it's a beautiful floor plan and it flows really well. And that is the key. Flow is more important than the square footage. Remember that. So you have this nice closet and I love that you have the door. I always prefer door to the closet than the split ones or the rolling ones. Good amount of space, pretty good size. And then as I come out the secondary bathroom, you have the double sinks, undermount sinks right there. I love that you have the two vanities or a single vanity with the double sink. But what I love the best is that you have this door. So you have your shower tub combination with your bathroom. One of my sons could be here taking a shower, getting ready, while the other is just brushing its teeth because mornings at my household are very hectic. And he doesn't even go to a school yet, but he would soon be going to a school and, and it's just, uh, you know, hopefully we will make it on time, right? So let me go ahead and take you over here. You have the other bedroom. It's looking at the front, your garage area right there. But look at the size of this room, guys. I always want like extra light, at least a good window, bringing in a good amount of light. Beautiful and nice size walk-in closet area right there with the window. Now, guys, these windows are double pane windows. This is actually a very standard feature with most of the builders. Now, every builder that I've covered, almost everybody has these double pane windows and they kind of heat and cool better. So just keep those things in mind. And then I pass through the whole passage, the whole open area. And then right over here is my laundry area. Not a lot of space in the laundry, but it's pretty comfortable. And as an inventory home, it gives you the washer and the dryer. So just keep that in mind. You can always have the cabinets up there and this is the entrance to the attic. And then as I come out, what I also like is that you have this closet space. So a lot of space, you know, a lot of place, like especially when you have a growing family, you want to have a lot of closet space, a lot of space that's going to help you. And then over here is your master bedroom. Look at the size, guys. Look at this. I want to stand in the corner, but look at the depth of this bedroom. Really, really nice. My common thing, extra lights would have been good, but you know what, for the price, I'm going to take that one and I'm going to just get a beautiful chandelier or I don't know, maybe not a chandelier, but 
just two really, really nice side lamps or something emitting a lot of light. That's probably what I would do. Now you have your master bathroom right over here. Same kind of vanity. Now with some builders, you will have a double tone cabinet, which just means is that you have a white in the kitchen and then you can change the cabinet color. This one is all white. What I've been told by the builder rep is that they have some inventory home that has a lot of upgrades. Uh, they have the white cabinets, the undermount sink, the quartz, and then also the frameless shower. So this is a walk-in frameless shower with this beautiful tile. I would have loved it all the way up, but this is something that I will take. Now with some of the builders, like with GL Homes, and um, actually mainly with GL Homes, I've seen they, they got the tiles up till there, and then they have this really nice wallpaper. It kind of really looks cool. If you haven't checked the videos out, they're in Tampa. And actually not in Tampa, they're in Wesley Chapel. And, and they, I've done a lot of videos and my God, while well, they do a fantastic job, their base price is a little bit higher, but it includes a lot of stuff. So just keep those in mind. And then you have the water closet area right there. It's a little tight for me, but you know, it's, it's okay. I, I'm, I'm, you know, uh, for me personally speaking, I find this to be a little tight, but that's a matter of personal choice, like I said. But overall, I love the flow of the house. And then voila, this is your master closet. Look at the space, you know, really nice. It's not huge, but it's very comfortable. Let me know what you think. And if you've been watching our videos, if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and do so. Press that thumbs up button. We would really, really appreciate that. Make sure you see me TikToking, reeling, shorting. I don't know, I'm, I'm just doing it. And thank you so much for, for reaching out. And that has helped me grow. I have buyer's agent now, so they are now able to take care of the overflow while I can bring you more content so that you can see more videos. So please press that thumbs up button. We also have Orlando Living with D that talks about the community, shopping, dining, everything that you need to know. We are really looking forward to connect with you. We look forward to, to be able to assist you. And remember guys, choosing a real estate agent is really important. Check us out on Google, Zillow, uh, Facebook. Um, I, I don't know what else, there's so many of them, but check us out. Our services to you is absolutely free. We would love to be the agent of choice to assist you on your move. If you have any questions, call us, text us, email us, page and mail us if that works better. But whatever it is, reach us out. We appreciate that. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.